Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. Scripture of the day is Colossians chapter 3, verse 8 to 10. And it says, But now you yourselves are to put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. And that's uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 8 to 10. Amen. So with that, here is the prophetic word from the Lord. The Lord is saying to you all, My sons and my daughters, do not lie to all people, including each other. For I am watching you all and praying to you all that you all will not lie anymore, including using curse words, malice, blasphemy, wrath, anger, and all ungodly sins unto people, including yourselves, as each other as well. So watch your language and watch your own words that brings you down, said the Lord of hosts. For I did not give you those things to manifest unto you with demons. I gave you life with the nine fruits of the Spirit from Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, that you will speak life and speak in agreement with unto me and through my words in the Bible. So stop putting yourself down with your own words. For the devil agree with words that you put yourself down and that he is attacking you and making you to go to hell in the afterlife. For I will save your life away from hell, away from sins, and away from Satan and all demon spirits that lie to you, that brought depression unto you, including stress unto you, that brought hatred unto you, and uses people to attack you and persecute you because of me first, said the Lord of hosts. So stop dwelling and hanging out with people who are nice to you, but talk back negatively against you, said the Lord of hosts. Walk away from them and also pray for them, love them, forgive them, and bless them in distance. Move on away from them and draw near unto me, said the Lord of hosts. I am here to separate you from people who turn against you and who gossip about you and against you. I am here to separate you from people who say word curses against you and only want the blessings from you and not with you. I am here to save your life and to separate you from them because I overheard their conversations. And I am pulling you away from them so you won't be attacking by them and by Satan and all demon spirits from hell, said the Lord of hosts. The more you move away from them and walk away from them immediately, the more I will handle them with my wrath of God, said the Lord of hosts. And then I will bless you with more blessings and more favors in your life, said the Lord of hosts. The more you obey me and trust me, the more I will protect you and keep you safe with me and my angels as well, said the Lord of hosts. So draw near to me and repent from all your sins. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Be filled or be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Get water baptism and get healing, deliverance, a church home, and, and including discipleships with Bible studies. Repent right now before it's too late at the last minute of your life. And repent right now and keep looking up unto me, for your redemption draws near, said the Lord of hosts. And that is a prophetic word from the Lord. Amen. So, if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and even if you are lukewarm or backslide away from God and into sins before the rapture comes, then say this simple repentance prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and I'm asking you to forgive me for all my sins in the name of Jesus. I believe that you died on the cross for all my sins, and that you are raised from the dead the third day, so that I shall be saved. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my life and for dying on the cross for all my sins. I accept you now as my Lord and my Savior. Wash me, cleanse me, protect me, and cover me with your blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit with spiritual fire. I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior, and I receive your Holy Spirit right now. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, forever and ever. Amen. Now the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So congratulations and welcome to the kingdom family. And yes, you are rapture ready. Amen. So I encourage you all 
to find a church home that share the gospel of Jesus Christ and that lead all people and all souls unto salvation, along with baptism of the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance, and discipleships. And I also encourage you all to read the book of John in the Bible to learn more about Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And also read the book of Acts to learn more about the Holy Spirit and how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as well. And then read the rest of the book and the Bible so that you will learn more about God's creation of heaven and earth, including us as you and me, as human beings, our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, including the Holy Spirit, other Bible characters that still existed a long time ago here on this earth, and the revealing of what's to come in the book of Revelation for the future on what God is about to do in the upcoming days, hours, and future to come. So keep reading the book of Revelation and learn more about what you need to do to heed God's warning and to be obedient unto our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ is coming back real soon. Get ready because the pre-tribulation rapture is still coming. There's no other raptures that's coming, not during the seven year tribulation. It's too dangerous to be left behind and it's too dangerous to stay here in the seven year tribulation because in the seven year tribulation will be full of God's wrath. No rapture during the seven year tribulation. There will still be a rapture that will happen before the seven year tribulation comes because we are not subject to God's wrath. We belong to our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ and we need to be born again with the Holy Spirit in our lives. So I encourage you all to repent and give your life to Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Get ready because Jesus is coming at an hour that you do not expect, like a thief in the night, unexpectedly and immediately. Amen. So God bless you all. Jesus love you all. Peace and shalom. And I can't wait to see you all in the clouds in heaven during the rapture of the church. Amen.